Hi everyone, I'm Adeline from MacMoto.com and today I'm going to be talking about a free Mac app called iMazing Mini that lets you take an iPhone backup with ease. iMazing Mini is perfectly optimized to store dozens of backups without using too much disk space. When the need arises, you can go back in time and restore any specific version of your backup. iMazing Mini is very easy to configure and you can decide on things like when you want the automatic backups to happen, how many backups you want archived, and you can even set reminders to make sure you're always up to date with your backups. All iMazing backups have end-to-end -end encryption, so your data is safe when transferred over local Wi-Fi. Apart from all these cool features, iMazing Mini also watches over your iPhone battery levels and prompts you to charge it when it reaches a certain threshold. That's the gist of what iMazing Mini can do for you. But how easy it really is to back up your iPhone with this app? Well, let's find out. You start off by downloading iMazing Mini from the official website. Install it and then launch it. The welcome screen opens up, listing all the stuff you can do with the app. Start off your first backup by hitting the next button over here. You will be asked to connect your iPhone with your Mac via the charging cable. Once connected, give permissions to allow the Mac to connect to your iPhone. On your iPhone, tap Trust this computer and both devices will then be paired. Now time to take your first backup. Just hit the Backup Now button. In the next screen, you can set the backup configuration. In the Automatic Backup section, tap Change. Here you can set your backup schedule. The default option is Daily, but you can choose any of the options listed in this drop-down. You can also set a specific time frame and backup only if the battery has a specific volume of charge. Next up is Backup Encryption. In this section, you can set a password to protect all your backups. This will activate the encryption process and you need to make sure you never lose your password or you'll be completely locked out of your data. Next, you can set a backup location. You can choose your hard drive, a custom location or an external hard drive if you have one connected to your computer. Next up is your archive settings. By default, iMazing Mini archives all backups and optimizes the disk space by deleting older files. You can choose to set the archive deletion to more than the default period of one month if you want to. Next up is the Wi-Fi section, which as you can see is active. Lastly, we have some additional options. Here you can set a reminder for low battery on your iPhone. Now when you're done with the configuration, click Done to begin the backup iMazing Mini will give you a time estimate for the whole process, so you can just sit back and relax until it's done. When the backup is complete, you'll see a success message. Click Done to complete the backup. You'll be back on the welcome screen again, and this time it displays all the details related to your backup. So now you've seen firsthand how easy it is to use iMazing Mini to backup your iPhone. This app is totally free to use, so do check it out and tell us what you think of it. This is Adeline signing off for now. If you like the video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more reviews, tips and guides on all things Apple.